guys, Justin Vinch 55 Garage again. Uh, got another, we're actually filming like six episodes today because I'm lagging, but everybody's been bugging me about this stupid truck because uh, OBS, 90s, 80s, Fords are getting crazy popular now. So I guess one video wasn't good enough for you guys. There's another video back in the thing. It was 86, 83, I think. Uh, F350, 4x4, crew cab, long bed. That's long gone now, but we have a 91 F350 crew cab long bed dually now, which is our uh, road trip, long term, long distance delivery, pick up trailers, do all that stuff truck. It's our new modern truck being, was that 30, 33 years old? Still younger than me, so it's, so it's, uh, it's modern. Anyway, I got my cheat sheet. There, most of this is going to be overlap from that 83 video, which is back in our bio link, wherever it's at. You can go check that out. But like I said, 91 Dually F350. This is the 8th gen of the F, F series. Don't debate me. Everybody always debates me on that. People define the generations a little bit differently. But this is the 8th gen. It's, uh, that's from 87 to 91 for that body. And it's a refresh of the seventh gen. The seventh gen being the 83 that I also have a video of. It's very similar. It's kind of a, a sheet, sheet metal, you know, trim dress up to be the, uh, the eighth gen. But it's the actually the first American pickup without a carbureted option when this came out. This is fuel injected. There was a diesel option, obviously. This is the 460 big block. But the 91 was actually the first non-carbureted pickup widespread pickup in america but the uh, 7.3 diesel like i said was available which is what everybody wants this is a 460 gas guzzler which i'm actually fine with i understand gas engines so i'd rather have a gas engine but super super duty it was introduced in 87 so that's a little bit different but this is the uh two-wheel drive dually there you could get the four-wheel drive as well which I wish I had, but for long distance uh, highway stuff, it's good. I'm happy with that. But bed's nice and big. The dually fenders, it's actually got a regular bed straight underneath this. The dually fenders are fiberglass and they're bolt on. And obviously the axle and the wheels are different. But I, I did bed liner on the bottom of this. It was kind of munched, as you can see. And the steps and we repainted it. I, I still got a couple things left to do, but this one had uh, dual fuel tanks, 8C, power locks, power windows. It was kind of the, you know, the pickup Cadillac in 91. XLT Lariat trim, which is all the, you know, the fancy stuff, but it's a real good kid hauler, dog hauler, everything hauler. Got two car seats in there usually. And a trailer and crap in the back. If anybody's got this bench in this color. But uh, it had an accident at one point. The whole steering column front end was all twisted. It's straight now, but it actually rides down the road like this. But it's straight, kind of crab walks. Uh, whoever had it fixed it. But so the steering, this is straight on the steering wheel. And my signals don't work, and they never will. But that would be a first having a truck with signals that work around here. So, but when I got this, these all had antlers instead of knobs. There was a big old Confederate flag across the back window. There was a giant camper that was rotting into the ground in the bed. And the whole thing was spray painted with black spray paint, including the handles and the trim and the windows and everything else. And there was about three dogs worth of fur in it. Got all that cleaned out. Oh, and there's no mirrors. Half the stuff didn't work. But we've had it for like 10 months now. My parents did a, a cross-state move in it with like 17,000 trips, including my stuff, which I would do business trips in it. But now it's just dedicated business truck and dog rain shelter. And we use this to pull trailers and campers and long distance, long haul stuff where I don't want to be 
shifting in a you know 70 year old truck so i might as well do it in a 30 year old truck but i just pulled this big trailer home with it last week and that trailer didn't have any trailer brakes it's a 32 footer didn't even feel it behind it it's great for it i finally just stopped overloading my trucks and got something big so 91 f350 ford crew cab long bed dually xlt two-wheel drive giant truck we call it the big truck this is a big truck see you guys later justin vinch 55